Hello everyone! After I shared mods that I used in the previous video, I created a tutorial to help you install mods quickly and easy. But there were lots of questions and I decided to make this updated version a little bit more straightforward that hopefully will help you get Stardio to look like what you always wanted. So firstly, let me state that this is a tutorial for the PC version, so I won't be covering how to install mods on Android or Switch. I don't even know how to do that, so sorry. Um, if I do figure it out, I will create a video about it in the future. Also, before we start, let me define the basics, because um, that can help you just understand each step. So vanilla files are your original Stardew Valley files that are already installed in your computer by default without any modifications. Mods are the modifications that you can make to your game and they can be different art styles, extra lore, expansions and other stuff. There are essentially two types of mods. You can install mods on their own, which is a mod that will replace your vanilla files with the modded file or you can do install your mods with a content patcher, which is what I recommend because with content patcher, you don't need to replace any of your vanilla files because the mods will be in a separate folder, avoiding compatibility issues and it will never mess up your vanilla files. But if you really, really do want to install a mod that isn't supported by Content Patcher, you can easily install it by simply copying and pasting the file into your game base folder. So let's say you have a mod that replaces your cat texture. You will need to find the vanilla cat file inside your Stardew Valley folder and replace it with your modded file. So please don't forget to back up your vanilla file before you add this type of mod or you will need to reinstall the whole game if something breaks. To find your Stardew Valley folder, you usually will find it at your Program Files, Steam, Steam Apps, Common, Stardew Valley and your vanilla file should be in the Content folder. To install mods with the Content Patcher, which is what I recommend, we will need to install this Mappy and the Content Patcher first. It's super quick, super easy. To install this Smappy, you have to first create a free account on Nexus and search for Smappy. I will leave the link on the description below, so the direct link will be there. But to download, you just have to go to the Files tab and look up the date of upload to make sure you're downloading the most up-to-date file. After you download it, you will need to extract the folder using WinRAR or 7-zip and inside that extracted folder, you will find the executable file for your operational system. You just need to double click that and it will open a command window. In this command window, simply type 1 to install it. In case you already had a older Smappy version by accident, uninstall first and then install after. If you're using Steam, you will need to do an additional step of setting up your launch options. In the command window of Zmappy, copy that full address underneath, including the quotation marks, including the percentage command, percentage bit, so the full line there, the full address, copy it all at the end and go to the Stardew Valley page in your Steam library, right click it to see the properties and inside the properties, Pass the address that you just copied into the launch options. That just basically tells the Steam, please open Stardew with Smappy. So it's just like a, a, an additional configuration. You just need to copy and paste the full address there and should work fine. After that, we can finally install the content patcher. Go back to Nexus and download the content patcher newest file in the files tab. I will also leave the link in the description below as well. But after you download it, you will need to extract it into a folder as well, copy that extracted folder into your Stardew Valley mods folder. If you don't have this mods folder for some reason, you can simply just create a new folder and rename it mods, just like it's written here. So just copy the extracted folder inside the mods folder. And now it's the fun bit. We can download and install mods and also configure mods, which I will explain how to do in a minute. So every mod is going to go inside this mods folder. To find mods, you can look at Nexus or also other websites such as ModDrop, uh, Stardew Forums, you know, you can find any mods out around. But for this video, I will use Elves Born Animals as an example just to show you how to further customize it because it has lots of configuration options. 
after you download the mods, extract it into your Stardew Valley mods folder. It's simple as that. Content Patcher will manage your mods without replacing your vanilla files, and you will see that all your vanilla files are intact. So just paste all your mods in there. Um, it's gonna look really cool. Now you'll see that once I open the game, this mapping window will open as well. Just leave it be, don't close it, it's fine. And it's working, because the animal sprites now have been replaced and now they look super cute. <laughs> But you may notice that some mods come with additional options to customize exactly how you want it to look like. Not every mod has this option to customize it, but if your mod has this image file with a reference page with different options for your animals, for example, here, uh, you will able to choose different options for the texture that you are implementing on your Stardew. So here, for example, let's say we want a goat that Instead, it looks like a deer blonde, we want it to look like the solid black one. So, to do that, just find the JSON file named config inside this specific mod folder and open it up with your notepad application. There, there you have like different lines um, for each texture and let's say we just want to replace the gold specifically with the solid black one so just type it the exact name as it's written on the reference image case sensitive and all paste in the in the line for the gold save the file and that's it once you open up the game again all the golds will be solid black instead of tear blonde so you can choose any of the versions that you want and you can just configure that you know customize that mod I really hope that all makes sense, guys. If you have any other questions, please let me know in the comments. I hope this updated version of the tutorial is more clear and more straightforward. And I just want to help you guys have Stardew to look like you want and, you know, better your experience with Stardew. So if you want, also please share which mods you're using down in the comments below. I would love to see which are your favorites. I'm always trying to look to improve my Stardew from time to time so I, no I don't get bored with it. So I'd love to see what you guys have to recommend. But that's it for today. Thank you so, so much for watching and see you in the next one.